Fumio Yonezawa is the chef at Jean Georges Tokyo, one of the world's preeminent restaurant groups. He's cooked in New York and Japan and is passionate about beef products from both regions, but Olifed Wagyu is a new product that he's very excited about. So what brings you out to the Zola farm? Because I'm sure Jean-Georges has purveyors all over the world that send them stuff, right? Right. I just had a, like Ole beef in like a recently and it was like really great, you know, like the flavors and the textures and, and the taste. And uh, I have opportunity to like, you know, the visit here. Have you, have you cooked it yet? Yes, I had. What cuts are you looking to use from here, do you know? I, uh, I like the legs. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's usually like it's pretty hard, but it's, you know, the Wagyu is like have like a good marbleization. Mm -hmm. The Jonjo's doesn't make really like the too fatty. He still have want to taste uh, the Japanese beef flavor. Right, the actual meat itself. Right, actual meat flavor. Right. From the farm, the chef was kind enough to invite us to a banquet where Japanese officials, farmers and purveyors got a chance to taste his olive-fed beef menu. So this is top rounder, it just falls right apart. This really eats like a piece of prime steak. I mean, that's how marbled this is. Now top round comes from the sirloin, so it's not gonna be generally as tender or as muscular, but it really eats like a piece of New York strip. Interestingly, they've paired this with a sake, which you think probably wouldn't stand up, but actually it really complements it well. The beef is so flavorful that you almost need something that's more acidic to cut across that. By going against the grain, it really works well. The second beef course was a boiled top blade of beef with a beef and chicken cold consomme. So this is one of the more bizarre looking, it's really, it's a consomme, but it's a cold consomme, so it's almost like gelatin. Wow, that is incredibly flavorful. It's definitely, you can tell the chi there's chicken in there, but you, the finish is definitely beef. I mean, it's like, it's meaty. Roasted strip loin with yellow zucchini, Parmesan cheese flavor, hot chili butter, and basil oil. Whoa, that's big. It's actually a fairly generous steak considering that we're in like an eight course meal. It looks like a great piece of steak. I mean, the marbling on that is spectacular and it's actually cooked very rare, which I obviously appreciate. The striation of fat and, and meat inside here is like readily apparent. And like, as I said, the fact that we're cutting this with a butter knife really says something about the tensile strength of this beef. It's slightly tougher than butter. And I see that next we're getting the tenderloin, so basically we're eating a porterhouse without the T-bone. This is the final course. Let's get in on the tenderloin and see what's going on there. That's really good. I mean, there's a Parmesan crust on it, which is the first thing that hits you, but it's got those brown roasted meat flavors. It's also ethereally tender. Watch this. I can just pull it, I can literally just pull it apart with my fork. It comes apart. It's just so good. It's filet mignon, but it tastes more like a short rib almost. It's got some, a real profound flavor to it. And I think that's just the marbling. I mean, I don't think I'm eating filet mignon here. That's a real triumph. I'm eating your beef. Yeah. It's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very yeah, much. Congrats, yeah. man. Really, it's a yeah. fantastic job. Thank you. Thank you. So that was amazing. I got to meet purveyors. I got to meet farmers. I got to meet the governor. I got to meet really every aspect of the production of Olive Fred Wagyu. And we're really finding this from farm to, to purveyor, to table, to restaurateur, to chef that we're seeing a really closed loop. It's obviously an artisanal product, and you can tell that when you put your love into something, it really comes out on the plate. For more meat show in Japan, click here. Good, all right, I'm gonna go eat dessert. What's the next step in the process? Wow! I'm sorry, I'm just like, I'm like literally blown away. This is amazing. Oh my God, the marbling on this thing is absolutely ludicrous.